We're here today to talk to you about low angle rope rescue. This is a skill that um, all of the non-USAR trucks uh, by Firescope are uh, able to perform and should be training on. Uh, 2015, uh, there was a UASI grant which got all the equipment to be able to perform low angle rope rescue for all of the uh, non-USAR trucks in Orange County. All the county fire chiefs got together. So this equipment is on all non-USAR trucks right now. In terms of low angle, classifying what a low angle rescue would be, depends on the reference that you look at. Some people say 35 degrees, some people say 45 degrees. Um, but when we train with Captain Chapman, the thing that he emphasizes is that the rescuers and the ground are supporting the weight of the victim uh, in a low angle situation. In a high angle situation, the rope itself is supporting the load of the victim. So today we're going to go over the side um, and rescue uh, one victim in a low angle setup. So we've, uh, we've positioned our truck so that we have um, good access for going over the side to best rescue this victim. Um, we have our belay and our main set up uh, with an appropriate anchor uh, to the truck. You're going to see the belay uh, has an MPD that's rigged um, to go straight over the side. And because this being a typical over the side freeway or Ortega type of call, there's not enough haul field between where we could park and the edge um, to have a decent haul field. So uh, we've done a change of direction here and we've anchored to a tree or another fire engine um, that's going to give us an appropriate distance haul field for uh, not having to reset too much. We've created a change of direction at the truck uh, to make a haul field uh, so that we don't have to reset and reset and reset uh, to get the victim and our rescuers up uh, back up to grade. When we pick anchors, uh, you want to make sure that you have a suitable anchor. If you're anchoring to a tree, something that's alive with substantial root system or substantial uh, girth to the, to the trunk itself. Um, you can also use a fire apparatus or patrol. Um, the nice thing about that is you can place them wherever you want along the roadside uh, to give yourself you know, a good distance of throw with your haul field. Um, remember our appropriate anchors that we tie at, uh, at our uh, termination points are going to be wrap through pull two or redundant loop. Um, and then again, the MPD rigged, we check it before we send anybody over the side to make sure that it's rigged properly. Working from uh, the point of attachment where we're gonna send our stokes and the rescuers over the side here. You'll see that we've used a green piece of webbing to wrap uh, the head end of the stokes. When you wrap this, it's helpful to wrap um, outside this rib right here that you can see outside, then inside, then outside for a total of four wraps. Finish it in a water knot that you'll see here, and then grab uh, both bites of the green webbing to connect a carabiner through there. This way, um, the webbing isn't going to be able to slide this way or that. These ribs are going to catch it from uh, sliding across the head end of the stokes. Uh, we've used an anchor plate uh, with the four holes facing the stokes so that we can attach attendant lines on either side of the stokes as well as the stokes itself. And then main and belay get connected into the large eye of the anchor plate uh, to be able to haul. Before we send uh, our rescuers over the side, we're going to safety check the entire system, either starting at the anchors and moving towards the edge or starting at the edge and moving back towards the anchors. It's a personal preference thing. So we've checked the stokes to ensure that it's rigged properly. We've checked all the carabiners associated with the stokes, as well as all the knots tied in the main and the belay to ensure that they're properly done. Uh, we've worked our way back to our change of direction, our main and belay, to ensure that those carabiners are locked as well. And then we've worked our way to the end of our haul field to make sure that that is set up as well. In addition, we're going to check our rescuers and make sure that uh, the harnesses are uh, properly put on. All the buckles are appropriate. And all the slack is taken out for the evolution. So we've gotten to the point that uh, our rescuers are at the victim. Uh, one misconception of the MPD is that because it's low angle, guys are just going to, when it's time to haul up, just yard on this side of the MPD. And we want to stay consistent with our rope skills and actually build mechanical advantage with this as it's intended to be used. So you see the way that I have it laid out right now is, uh, is, is a Z rig or a three to one. If you use our trucks, uh, use bound loop Prusix.
Make sure your carabiner is locked. Move the pressic as far forward as you can to maximize uh, your throw within your haul field, and we're ready to haul. Before we raise our rescuers uh, with their victim back up to the roadside, um, the rescuers are going to stand up once the victim is packaged. Uh, and preload the system and make sure that they're standing where they want to stand uh, to come up uh, level with the victim. Uh, you'll see that uh, the two forward rescuers have moved their prussics um, up more than you'd imagine um, when you're doing this evolution. The reason for that is that you want to be hauled up by your waist. You don't want to be trying to muscle this guy up uh, the hill by leaning in and carrying the victim up yourselves. You want the rope and the system to carry your weight uh, to lift to raise you up this hill. Before we raise our uh, rescuers and victim up, I'm going to check and make sure rescuers are ready, we're ready on the main, and we're ready on the belay. Once we confirm that everybody's ready, the appropriate hand signal is to raise. Once they get to the point of an edge transition, um, depending on how steep the hill is, um, there's the potential for these guys uh, to be pulled into the ground or into the side of the hill. And so if you use something as simple as a pinch bar, uh, getting it off your, off your truck, get two guys on it and stand up, you're gonna give uh, an edge for these guys as they're being hauled up so that they're not pulled into the ground. There are links attached in the description of this video that reference previous segments uh, such as the use of MPD and patient packaging, so be sure and check those out. If you guys have any questions about uh, the low angle operation itself, any of the rigging or anything that you've seen here in this video, uh, please contact one of uh, your USAR trucks that's close to where you work uh, or Captain Chapman who works at 64A.